One of the easiest methods for taking screenshots is with an app called Snipping Tool. To get to it, click on the Start button, type Snipping Tool, and click on Snipping Tool in the search results. Once it loads, you'll see a few different options along the top of the window. By default, you should see that it's in rectangle mode. This is the method by which you capture the screenshot. For instance, if you leave it in rectangle mode and click New, you'll see the screen freeze and dim a little bit. And then if you click and drag, you can make a rectangular shape around any portion of the screen that you want to capture. When you release the button, whatever you've highlighted will become your screenshot. Your new screenshot will open right in the snipping tool. Now you'll have a few additional tools appear. You can use them to draw and highlight anything in your screenshot. There's also a ruler tool, the ability to enable drawing by touch if your computer supports it, and you can also crop your screenshot further. From here, you can click the disk icon in the upper right corner to save your screenshot, and you can do so in a few different formats. Or if you'd prefer, you can click the button next to save to copy the screenshot. And then you can paste it directly into a different application. In addition to rectangle mode, if you click the drop down, you'll find a few other capture modes. If you select window mode and click new, you can hover your cursor over any open window, which you'll see light up, and click on it. You now have a screenshot of that entire window. The next option is full screen mode. Select it and click New. And it'll instantly take a screenshot of your entire screen. The last option is freeform mode. Select it, click New, and you'll be able to click and drag to draw any shape you want. When you release the button, it'll take the screenshot. The last set of options, next to the mode selection, is delay. By default, there's no delay. When you click new to take the screenshot, the interface comes up immediately. However, if you change to one of the other options, for instance, snip in five seconds, and click new, there will be a five second delay before the screen freezes and dims. This can be helpful if you need a few seconds to get something to show on your screen before everything freezes and the interface comes up. From here, you can just take your screenshot like normal. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site. And don't forget to subscribe.